Good morning. Today's going to be a bit of a different video here on the channel. I have a show tonight and I'm just going to do a bit of a get ready with me slash come along with me. It is currently September 2nd and I'm playing in San Jose, California tonight. Flight's not till 4 p.m. Here you can see I have uh, put my set together. I'm just kind of exporting it to all my USBs. We, we thought I was just going to leak. All my unreleased music. Crap. A bit of a psychopath when it comes to USBs. Most DJs, I think, pull up with like one or two, maybe three. I have seven. I'm just going to go ahead and get ready. Uh, but <laughs> not until I've had my coffee. <sighs> okay. You guys, uh, oh God, I got to clean this thing. Oh, this is embarrassing. If you guys want a cheaper alternative to CDJs, this thing is great. You know, it's just kind of like a controller, but you can still plug USBs into it. All right, welcome to the voiceover section of this vlog. I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. I don't like to film or vlog or do anything in public. So for starters, I completely forgot to film anything about going to the airport. I just, I, I had already forgotten that I was doing the vlog shortly after I left. I already forgot. But then I, when we were taking off on the plane, saw like this little bug thing stuck to the window. I was really hoping he was gonna make it all the way to San Jose with us, but but, um, he didn't. He lasted about 10 seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and slow that last clip down and just kind of add a comedic sound effect just to make it less of a tragedy. I took these pictures on the plane. I thought they were pretty cool. I was going to post them on my Instagram story when I landed, but once again, I just, I forgot. I, I had already forgotten I'd taken them. I actually saw these on my camera roll when I got home and I was like, damn, who took these? So I made it to San Jose. It was about a 40 minute plane ride and I uh, got a shot of the sign, which was dope. This is just me waiting for the Uber to come pick me up. And um, I don't know why I look so scared. This Uber driver drove the exact same car as me and in the same color. So it was like I was getting picked up by myself, which was pretty dope, honestly. And when I got inside, we had a, a very interesting conversation. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Persian name. I have a Persian name? Yeah. Nathan? Nathan, yeah. I you never knew that. Nobody told you, huh? No. <laughs> my, actually, my nephew is, is Persian. Oh, okay. Is his name also Nathan? Yeah. That's awesome. I think nowadays it's almost, you know, international name. I decided to take some uh, video of the scenery leaving the airport and I got a pretty cool shot of this southwest plane coming in for landing and the Uber driver decided to roll a window down. I'm oh, sorry? Maybe you're filming or put the window down. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I was just, just checking out the scenery. I don't know why I said that. I haven't really spent too much time in San Jose. So I'm kind of a tourist. Don't know why I said that either. How long you stay here? I am leaving in the morning. Oh. 12 hours. I won't leave tonight, just to... Just tonight, yeah. So it's, it, this is your stopover, huh? I've had a lot of conversations with Uber drivers because taking a lot of Ubers and there's really just never like a cool way of telling them what I do for a living. I'm a DJ. You know, dance, dance music, EDM, electronic. Raves. No please. Appreciate it. You have a good night as well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go Google my name. After I got out of the Uber, I went back to the hotel and I watched the entirety of 300 to learn more about my heritage. It was a pretty cool movie. I, I'd seen it, it's just had been in a long time and I really had, didn't have this connection with it before. Decided to check out the scenery outside the window and noticed I was right next to the venue I was playing, so that was pretty cool. Hey, that's the venue I'm playing. I filmed this delivery driver for a while because I was kind of hoping that he might like trip and fall and knock all these scooters over and like a domino cartoonish style fashion, but he didn't. He was very good at his job. After that, I did what I normally do in hotel rooms, which is just to kind of just kind of hang out, you know? Yeah, I did that for a little while. It was great. A lot of fun. Then I decided to go on a little walk. Uh, I didn't really anticipate ending up in the middle of the street, but the sidewalk kind of just disappeared. One of the cool things about walking around cities that you've been to so many times and traveling so much and getting a lay of the land so much is that you don't really have any use for GPS or navigation anymore because you know where you're going. Take a right on South Market Street. There was this really big event going on. I couldn't really tell 
what it was and I also couldn't get inside. So I went to this hotel and decided to get myself a glass of wine because it was really fancy and I just kind of wanted to fit in. I ended up going with the Sanford Vineyards Chardonnay, which is a classic. I didn't get any footage of me drinking it. So you guys are just going to have to take my word that I, I did drink it and it was it was magnificent. It was really really great glass of chardonnay after that i met up with a couple friends and we walked over to the venue and i once again forgot that i was vlogging and i didn't film anything so instead we're just going to jump straight into the show here is some footage of that <laughs> After I was done, I chilled for a little bit and then went and watched the rest of the show from front of house and I got some very cool gifts. I got back to my hotel around 2 a.m. and decided to just kind of ponder life for a minute. This is insane. You know, I always thought the stories of Nate Mug were just a myth, but turns out the prophecies were true and it does exist. After my flight and trip home, which I forgot to film all that as well, I got home around 9 in the morning. I opened the door and uh, was greeted by my great main and all of his grace gave him some much needed pats and uh let him know what's good at this point i had not slept so i uh went to sleep and that was my trip my cool awesome trip to san jose <laughs> all right Thanks for watching. If you guys are into this kind of thing, maybe I'll do another one and, and trying to uh, actually film more things. Um, or maybe not, you know? All right. You bet.